Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to use Haiku, how to get to Haiku, how to log in, and how the class is going to operate. This is your virtual classroom. You're going to come here to get everything and to turn everything in. So it's very important that you understand how to use it. This is going to take me multiple videos, so you're probably going to get two to three. So just stick with it and make sure you're going through everything so that you're feeling comfortable here at the beginning. So the first thing you're going to do to get to Haiku is you want to open up a browser and you're going to type in spx.org as you see I have done here. It takes me to the main SPX website and I can go to Campus Life and Haiku. And when I click on Haiku, it's going to take me to the Haiku login page. I could also get here by simply typing it into the URL bar. So spx.haikulearning dot com and when you hit enter it takes you to the exact same place. When you get here you'll notice it's got our logo so you know you're in the right location. Everything that you see here on the right you want to completely ignore. Do not use the right side of the screen. The left side of the screen is for you to use. It allows us to log into Haiku with our Google account so that we can easily integrate Google into Haiku. You are a student so you'll use spxstudent.org I'm a teacher, so I use spx.org. So go ahead and click on the radio button next, next to spxstudent.org and hit sign in here. I'm going to select spx.org and hit sign in. Now, when you sign in, you'll notice mine automatically goes straight in because I've already got everything set up. Yours is going to take you to a Google sign in. This is where you use your SPX student account. So it should be your first initial, last name, last two digits of the year you graduate. So for instance, if I was a freshman, it would be A, because my first name is Ashley, right? And then I believe you guys are 19 at spxstudent.org. And your password you should already have, it should have been given to you. It's the last four digits of your social. If you do not have this information, then you should be able to look on PowerSchool to get that information. Now, when you log in, you will see this here, which we call the portal. The portal is going to show you all the classes that you're currently in. Now, if your teacher hasn't activated the class yet, like your fall classes, then it's not going to appear here. So you may only see my class at this time, but you can see I have multiple classes here for all the various classes that I teach. You also have an extras tab here that you can click on. And this will show you different clubs or sports that you're in, as well as the library and the Dean's page. Notice that you have a calendar with here with recent events that are coming up. And you have also have announcements. If you click on an announcement and it is larger, it will enlarge so that you can see it in a little bit of a bigger form. You could also go to My Classes to see your classes. So any of these ways will work and will help you to get to that class. So I'm going to clip, click on our class, which is Computer Apps CP, and so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open it up, and you should see at the top, Computer Apps CP Online, Summer 2015, so you know you're in the right location. You'll also have the exact same layout. This is everything that I've set up so that it looks a specific way. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to um, get yourself acquainted with how everything works here. So I'm going to go over just the welcome page and then we're going to be going into a different uh, video to go over a few other things. So the first thing is, is that you'll see announcements at the top. It's always important to look over those for anything I'm updating you on. You'll want to read the welcome introduction here. It's going to tell you a little bit about the class. And you'll also want to look over the files on the right. You have a syllabus file. You can click on that link. It's going to give you your syllabus. You can scroll down to the bottom, read it with your parents. You're going to e-sign this. I need an e-sign, not just typing in your name. That's not going to work for me. E-sign this. And by the way, you can go to file and make a copy to copy that so that you can do that. Again, if this is not e-sign, then it is a not, not a proper syllabus, so you will need to do that. You've also got a class cafe, which is a location for you to ask and talk with your peers or myself, kind of an open discussion. And then you've got a calendar that's going to let you know some recent and upcoming dates. So you can click to go to June and you can already see some of the red dates. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pick up uh, with the pacing guide and course schedule.